Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode three of the James Ray Show. We're going to go over some paper headlines this morning. James Ray, what you got? Well, several things, really. But anyway, number one, a chase ends in crash and drug charges. An attempted traffic stop resulted in two suspects fleeing from officers and crashing their car in a telephone pole in Crystal Springs about 8.30 p.m. February the 17th. According to Police Chief Tony Hemphill, an officer observed a traffic violation and turned on his blue lights, but the vehicle fled at a high rate of speed before crashing at Bennett Street and Georgetown Street Extension. Mm. The car apparently hit a stump, causing the driver to lose control and crash into a telephone pole. MPL said. Both occupants were injured and transported to the hospital. Officers found a large amount of a substance suspected to be ecstasy and marijuana in a vehicle. Terrible thing. Terrible. And then they they have one in custody in Crystal Springs shooting. Mm. February 17th, which was a busy day there for Crystal Springs police. Uh, in February 17th, shooting incident in Crystal Springs had resulted in one arrest and officers searching for the suspected shooter. It appears the incident was a domestic dispute and the suspect was on foot, charged of aggravated assault under the state's domestic violence law. And then, of course, a fire breaks out at ABB Warehouse. Yeah, a fire broke out February 19th in the back of the Mississippi Toughest Kids Foundation building in Crystal Springs. Copper coils were on fire in a portion of the building leased by EBB. The cause is under investigation. By the way, at Mississippi's Toughest Kids Foundation is a great organization right there. Sure is. And it's, everybody needs to try to support it as much as you can. And something I mentioned last week because I didn't have all the details, stuck is smashed and an ATM stolen. Oh, man. The ATM at Stuckey's in Goma was stolen around 2.30 a.m. February the 16th. An F-150 that had been stolen from the Jackson area was used to drive through the front of the store. The machine contained an undisclosed amount of cash was loaded into the truck and hauled from the scene. The truck was later recovered and returned to its owner. Kapai County Sheriff Byron Swilly said it makes it difficult to investigate when most of the items recovered are stolen. It's a sad thing. It's really right is. here at home, too. Yeah, terrible thing. Too. So what's the headline about the uh, family dollar stores, James Ray? Well, the FDA alerts public to potentially contaminated products from family dollar stores. Hmm. On February 18th, U.S. Food and Drug Administration alerted the public that several categories of FDA-regulated products purchased from January 1, 2021 through the present from family dollar stores in Alabama, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Missouri, and Tennessee may be unsafe for consumers to use. Mm. Conditions observed during the inspection included live rodents, what? dead rodents, and various states of decay rodent feces mm. and urine, evidence of gnawing, nesting, and rodent odors throughout the facility, oh, dead birds, dead bur- bird droppings, and products stored in condition that did not protect against contamination. Oh, man. More than 1,100 dead rodents were recovered from the facility during a fumigation at the facility in January. Additionally, a review of the company's internal records also indicated that collection of more than 2,300 rodents between March the 29th and September the 17th, 2021, demonstrating a history of infestation. Oh, my goodness. That's terrible. Terrible, terrible thing. Yeah, all the stores are closed. They're closed? Yeah, they are. They're closed. And they're in there and fumigating the stores, and they got to get rid of all the inventory and just throw it away. They should have had cats in there. That's right. Lots of cats. Mm-hmm. Or a lot of mouse traps. Lots of mouse traps. Mm-hmm. Cats. Terrible. That's a, that's now, on the Stuckey's uh, break-in, have they caught anybody yet? Not yet, No. The thing about Stuckey is, though, they could have been from anywhere because you're right there by the interstate, and they could have took That's off right. and went anywhere. Uh, last week you mentioned that the sheriff was going to have a chat with the community. Right. That has been rescheduled. Yes, it has. That is correct. A, a day of harsh weather last week resulted in the postponement of a chat with the sheriff event originally set for last Thursday morning. Chat is now planned for 6 p.m. February the 24th. Kapai County Sheriff Byron Swindley is holding his quarterly chat with the sheriff event at the Kapai County Safe Room. Attendees will get an update on law enforcement in the county. 
and the Kabai County Coroner Ellis Stewart will be the guest speaker. Now, you used to go to school with Mr. Stewart, didn't well, you? Well, he's one of my classmates. Sure is. Ellis Stewart. Sure is. And what year were y'all at school? Well, we graduated in 1970. Good year. That's right. Yeah, very good year to graduate. Also, we have a little sports news here. Uh, like, Wesson was playing West Marion in girls basketball. Sophomore Lions attempt a basket in a Wesson varsity girls basketball first round playoff game against West Marion. Wesson was defeated by a score of 58 to 51. And uh, Hazelhurst uh, boys were playing Tylertown, and they won by a score of 67 to 65. All right. Wesson. Uh, played Warren Central in soft, softball, rather. First home game of the season against Warren Central. Runs were scored by Alexis Guest, Jacqueline Cloy, J.D. Swoop, and Emma Thaxton. Wesson won by a score of 4-3. to three. Go ahead, Wesson. Yeah, that's great. Beating Warren Central. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Uh, and uh, also, Chris Bryan's beat Enterprise by a score of 77-52. to 52. Wow. In basketball, and uh, and unfortunately, the Chris, the girls, Chris Branch was defeated by the Enterprise by a score of forty-two to thirty-seven. And let's see, a lot of sports activity in Kapai County. Isn't oh, it? absolutely, absolutely. We we got some great sports events for anybody to see. Yeah, and these right. schools have some some good players. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, Hazelhurst football players signed scholarship. Football players from Hazelhurst High School signed scholarships was uh, Zacharias Harris, Mississippi Delta Community College, Jamarian Larry, Jacksonville State University, and Quateria Stewart, Mississippi Delta Community College. Congratulations to those young men. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Mm-hmm. You know, the only thing that kept me from – the coach told me about basketball with me. He said two things kept me from playing basketball. What's that? Height and talent. He said <laughs> I didn't have either one of those. But he said other than that, I was great. But he said that just that was not going to work. So that, that kept you away from yeah, basketball. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yes, sir. But otherwise, you had a, a great experience at Hazelhurst, didn't you? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Can you go over what it was like on a Friday before a football game? In 1967. Well, of course, I played football, sure did. And uh, in 67, you know, before a good football game, we always had a pregame meal. Went to Mickey's. Great. One of the best places in the country to eat. People from all over the country came to eat at Mickey's restaurant. Very good. And a hamburger steak just uh, bigger than this plate. Yeah. Of course, you, you might know this. You know, when I was a kid, you know, I didn't have any brothers and sisters. You know, didn't have any... Uh, you know, I was the only child, too, right. you know. So, uh, and, uh, anyway, you know, that's um, so I had, a, you know, no neighbors. So I had to play hide-and-seek by myself. <laughs> and with no, you know, brothers and sisters, of course, uh, some advantages is that. Well, one, you cut down on buying Christmas presents. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and, uh, so that, that and then I have a family reunion every time I look in the mirror. So, uh, you know, that's few advantages there. So it's not all bad being No, it's not all bad. Yeah. You know, yeah, of course, I never will forget what Daddy said when I was, you know, when I was born. He said the doctor came in the room, Dr. Zellers. I think I might have told you about German. him. He was a German doctor. Y'all probably remember Dr. Zellers. He came in the room and told my daddy, said, sir, I did everything I could possibly do, and he still pulled through, <laughs> you know. Of course, we were poor. I never, were. I, you know, I was six years old before I realized Alpo didn't make baby food. <laughs> I tell you that. Yeah. You did get uh, to come to town a few times. Oh yeah, you got mentioned. Town, got to town, come a few times. You got that's to go right. to the picture show. Sure, that's right. I enjoyed that. But right, you know, in a Hazelhurst, when I was coming up, you know, on Saturday afternoon, you just have to make the block three or four times just to find a parking place. Oh yeah, a lot of a lot of business. Uh, exactly. Oh yeah. Did you have a telephone out there? Yeah, in we the had country? a phone. That's yeah. Right. There we well, what was it we like? We were on a party line. A party line. Yeah. We had two short rings. Somebody else had one long ring, and then somebody else had three short rings. There's three of us. And, of course, a lot of times, uh, you know, on, uh, especially on Sunday afternoon, it's hard to use it because there's a couple of early ladies that talk to each other. Mm-hmm. I think that's the only time they talk was on Sunday afternoon. You forget about that. 
Oh, well, with the prices the way they are nowadays, I just don't know. Can I have the line, please? I've got to call a doctor. My baby just swallowed a pin. Oh, yes, of course. All right, Jane, I'll call you later. Yeah, they, you pick up the phone and they'd be talking about their knees were popping. Or, well, I wonder what caused that, you know, stuff like that. And I'd say, ma'am, we need the, can we use the phone? She said, do your knees pop? <laughs> I said, well, occasionally they do. And she said, I wonder what causes that. And I said, ma'am, have you ever tried WD-40 or something? I mean, but anyway, you couldn't get them off the phone. They'd be on there for hours. Do you remember your telephone number? I do not. I do not. Seven four W three, please. Seven four W three. But at least you had telephone and you had two or three channels. <laughs> that's right. Television. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. And you had WMDC. Yeah. You know, one good thing about a landline, I thought about. I don't know if anybody has lost their phone when they had a landline. Nobody <laughs> lost their phone. <laughs> Whereas these cell phones, you know, I had a terrible incident with mine last week. I heard about that. You want to tell the audience what that was about? Well, I mean, I was washing my pants. Does that tell you anything? <laughs> and I, I was getting my pants out of the washing machine. I looked down, and there's my cell phone. It drowned in misery right there. It was, uh, yeah. So I had to go get another one Saturday. Another, I get I, another high-dollar flip phone. That's what I use, a mm -hmm. flip phone. Not an iPhone 11. No, I'm not familiar with that one. I've just I've always had flip phones. I uh, uh, more they serve my purpose because there's two things I do on a phone: he hello and goodbye. That's the extent of my. You don't check Facebook on your phone. No, no, I don't have that. I don't have internet on my phone. Just or hello. Twitter. No, no Twitters. No, just hello and goodbye. That's uh, that covers me right there. You're talking about. Football, you know, back then, it was, and I don't know how it is now, but when I was in school, it's, Chris Springs and Hazelhurst was a huge rivalry. Oh, yes. I never will forget, I think it was in 67, somewhere along in there, 66, 67, the cheerleaders from Hazelhurst, Chris Springs got in a fight mm -hmm. over the flag. Mm hmm Yeah. So oh, it was a fierce rivalry. Yeah, they, they were slugging it out. Do you cheerleaders. remember when they would burn the tiger? Oh, yeah, burn the tiger, yeah, yeah. That's right. You mentioned oh, yeah. you enjoyed some of the Elvis movies. Yeah. Which was your favorite Elvis Ooh, movie? I don't know. It was, he made a lot of good movies. Uh, Blue Hawaii was yeah. a good movie. I remember one of them was Kissing Cousins. That's it. I, I, I didn't have any cousins that I know about. Mm -hmm. One thing I wanted to add, too, you know, last week I was talking about my uh, daddy said, if at the zoo, I asked about taking me to the zoo. He said, if he wants you there, come get you. And then I mentioned it to him one more time. He said, son, I may take you up there. And old Rita won't take you up there. Your parents may find you up there. <laughs> so he's, I don't you know. So a lot of people say I was an ugly child. I remember one time I, I was riding with mom and daddy, and I stuck my head out the window. The police pulled me over and said I was mooning. <laughs> I had my head stuck out the window. I don't know. <laughs> so what would you do when you got out of school, when you graduated? Yeah. What'd you do? You go into you were a career car salesman. I left Coombe and went to work at Pat Purvis Chevrolet. Yeah. And worked there for well, I worked in automobile sales for the last forty five years. Forty six forty six years. I started in ninth March of nineteen seventy six. Did you enjoy that career? Oh, very much so. I enjoy selling cars. I enjoy meeting people. I enjoy the business. At that time you had a Two or three dealerships in Crystal Springs and well, Hazelhurst. At that time, you had seven in the county. Wow. You had four in Crystal Springs. You had a Chrysler dealership, you had, which was Kapai Motors. You had uh, Hammond Ford. You had Barry Pontiac. You had Pat Purvis Chevrolet. So the other dealership in Crystal Springs would have been Wright Motors? Yeah, yeah, that's right. And what did they sell? They sold tractors. Now, at one time, they sold Pontiac. But the, when Barry Pontiac opened, he got that franchise from them. In Hazelhurst, you had Wise Motor Company, you had K.W. Allison Chrysler, you had Bill Jones Chevrolet, and Wesson, you had Cowan Chevrolet. I guess that's about it. That's about it. And everybody, get on your computer and turn us on. <laughs> <laughs>